I taught PE uh, and also I used to teach outdoor education. I suppose that was my favourite aspect of teaching and we did lots of things with young people like the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme. Uh, we used to organise walks, treks, camping out and all the rest of it and every th three weeks in the summer we went to Abercrave and we had 30 or 40 young people there every week doing various outdoor activities. We used to send kids out on an overnight camp and we used to drop them in one place and they'd come back to camp but they'd have to stay overnight. But this one group uh, were out and we had a storm. said to me uh, come on we better go out and check them and no I said leave them for a while the storm may pass and so on but at 10 o'clock in the night we decided to go and check them and when we got to the camp there were no young people there at all so I got really worried now but there were friends of mine living about a mile away and I decided to call in there to see if they had seen the kids or whatever and what I had was a row of the lady for leaving the kids camp out overnight. And she said to me, why have you left them out in the rain all night, she said. And I asked her, well, where are they, Phyllis? Where are they? Where do you think they are, she said. They're in bed. <laughs> and they were indeed in bed. And you're not disturbing them, she said to me. <laughs> So we had to fetch the young people the following day. In that sort of atmosphere, we got to know the young people a lot better. And therefore, when we went back to school, you treated them differently because you had got to know them better and their strengths and weaknesses.